There are legends that dwell within the hidden places of Neopia. Some are of the light, but others... Others are of the darkest kind. You can't hear it right now, but I have like the goofiest, cheesiest grin on my face right now, because this is my childhood. Hi everybody, this is Laurel Evie. Sorry for not introducing myself right away, but I am just... I'm such a geek for this game. I've played this game so many times. Oh man, I went right back to the note. Don't do that. Don't go back. I'm sorry for talking too long, Neopets. I'm sorry. I'll go right back to the title after this. Oh gosh, but yeah. Played this game a whole lot of times. New game. Load game. New game. Load game. Sorry, syncing the audio because I didn't do that earlier because the whole thing. Yeah. Anyway, such a big geek for this game. I don't even have any notes for this first part. Don't even know how long this is gonna go. What time is it? Okay, a little bit after four. Okay, that's gonna help me keep track of how long I've been going. Anyway, uh, so enough chit chat. Time is... I'm not gonna quote anybody. And new game. I'm gonna be really quiet now because there's, there's a little opening. So cute. There's no subtitle function. Huh. Next time you get to play Dare again. Is it true? Yeah, is it? Are you gonna be a knight? Well, I don't want to brag, but come up and. Talking about killing in a kid's game. Thumbs up. Uh oh. Gotta go. Homework to do. Just great. And our little sister scared away all of our little kid friends. What the heck? Tor, you better get those Winnies back in the corral or mom's gonna be mad. Aren't you gonna say she's gonna kill me again? 
Use the left analog stick to move around. Use the right analog stick to look about. You can hold down the R button to run faster. Yeah, the R1 button is definitely your friend in this game. Okay, so looking around, there's two Winnies here. We have, well, three Winnies, technically. We have to chase them into the pen. Okay. Oh, man. Winnies are a type of creature called a pet pet, and we'll get into those later, but these fall under a special category of pet pets in this game, which I like to call bloody useless. There we go. Ha, thought you could get away, huh? Still two more. Shut up, Lucy. If you try to run away from it, Lucy will just call you back, so you might as well just get it over with. Come on. Oh, no, 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 come back. Come back here. Maybe running in this case isn't the most helpful thing. No, go back. Go back. Go back. No, 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 no. Okay, running. Go, go, go. But yeah, this is a PS2 game. Just one more, Tor. And we are playing a loop, a type of wolf-like Neopet. And we're a bipedal version of that. That doesn't happen very often. I always found Winnie's kind of creepy, because they're, they're supposed to look like little horses. But they have paws, and I just lost all sound out of my headphones. I think I lost all the sound. Or did the sound just glitch? Oh, I don't even know! Guess we'll find out once we finally get the stupid Winnie in the- oh. Go, go, go. Yeah! Yeah, I just lost all the sound out of my headphones. Darn it, I can't hear the music anymore. Phew, I thought you'd blown it for sure. Hope Mom didn't see- Oh, sorry, this is an English game. I hope Mom didn't see. Even though they all are American. Voice actors. Tormund! Yes, Mom. Mom sounds like a man. Ooh, busted. You better go talk to Mom. Press the left directional button to see a map of the area and find your way around. Okay, so yes, this is the map of the Ellis family farm. Apparently, Tor's last name is Ellis. Insert Monty Python joke here. Thanks very much indeed. Not at all. Thank you, Mr. Ellis. What did you say? It's not I him. said thank you, Mr. It's Ellis. Not him. Oh. Why did you say I was Mr. Ellis? Uh, uh, no, no, he didn't say that. Yes, he did. I heard him say thank you, Mr. Ellis. Uh, no, no, no. He said, I'm jealous. Hmm. What? I'm jealous of your aunt. <laughs> Goodbye. Anyway, Mom wants to go talk to us. But before we do that, it might actually be more helpful to pick up this item first. That's the wooden bucket that Mum needs. Press the start button to see what you're carrying. Yeah, start button automatically brings us to the inventory screen, which can also be reached just a little ways off from the map. You can do the R, L, and R buttons to basically move around the three little little map menu -y areas. And you can see the different inventory things using the R1 and L1 buttons. There's three categories in there, but we'll get to them when we get to them. I'm not going to hold you too long to this. Anyway, let's go talk to Mom and see what she wants. <sighs> My plants need water, Tor. Fill that pail with the, with the water pump by the barn. I'm going to fill this pail full of water pumps. Anyway, you can shortcut by jumping up here. You can press the X button to jump up here. Run! That's our dad. We'll talk to him in a second. By the way, there's tons of little boxes and stuff that you can break if you can jump onto them currently. Currently, that's all you can do. Anyway, water pump. Go! Intense gameplay! What the? It's making a weird noise. What is that? Whoops! Pump's broken again, but at least my bucket is full of water. Uh, apparently, this happens a lot. Well, better tell Dad. Dad. Hubert. Hmm? The pump's on the fritz again. Ah. Finish your errand for your mom, then come back to give me a hand. Yes, Dad. Anyway, jump right back over to Mom. 
thank you for the water tour. I heard the explosion. Let me guess, the pump's broken again? <clears throat> Go find your father and tell him he better fix it for good this time, or he's sleeping in the barn again. Jeez, our mom's a little bit crabby. Doesn't seem that way when you actually hear her voice, but man, the writing. Anyway, talk to dad again. This should be simple enough to fix. Hmm. Where'd I put my pliers? I remember now. Tor, go to the top of the barn. The pliers are next to the weather vane. And then we just get a pointless image of seeing our dad go outside. Okay. Anyway, gotta get to the roof. In order to do that, we have to move this box. Push and pull things by pressing the square button next to them. Slide this box under the ladder to reach it. Okay, so I'm gonna grab the block and I'm gonna push and pull it all the way back. Climb on top of that and now we can jump up and reach the ladder. Okay, climbing up the ladder, changing the camera angle a little bit so I can see better. Tutorial again. You can jump across gaps by pressing the X button. Yeah, and I was confused to all get out from this tutorial because I'm like, where are we jumping to? You have to jump over to this way. If you fell, don't if you fall, don't worry, you can always just climb up again. Dust yourself off. Tor isn't really hurt by fall damage, which is actually a plus. I always like to think this game is like a knockoff version of the Legend of Zelda. Very, very glitchy knockoff version of Legend of Zelda. Anyway, it's right here by the weather vane. So this is where Dad left his pliers. Uh-huh, and we could go down the long way, but like I said, you can't get hurt by fall damage, so jump off the roof! And there's your dad. Oops. I don't think this is gonna be pumping more. I didn't mean to do that, I meant to talk to Dad. Thanks, son. That'll do just fine. You're welcome. There. That should make your mum proud. I've gotta finish up a few repairs, and then I've got a special job for you. Let me get this pointless little cutscene again. Stop being pointless, cutscenes! Technically, it's not an actual cutscene. We'll be getting a cutscene really, really, really soon. But first, I want to explore the... F I want to explore the farm area a bit. Let me get the map out. Okay, okay. Yep, there's three different paths. Well, technically four paths that you can actually get to at this point. Three of them are actually travelable. Uh, if, we went, if we go up to the north field that's over in the upper area, there's actually a dangerous plant there and I don't want to deal with that right now. Way too hard. It'll go away later. If we go to the western field, there's actually something we can do there. So I'm heading off to the western field. Quit sneaking across there. Go, Tor, go. This won't take long. Do 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 do. Only drop five frames. Do 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 do. And into the mysterious shed. There's a chest in here. We can open it using the square button. And. Money! I forgot to check how much money we had at the beginning, but we got like a little bit over a hundred Neo points. Treasure chests can be found a little bit everywhere in like this little area around Meridel as the kingdom. And. And what they've- uh, stuff inside them varies from- depending on- mm, I'll get to that when we get to that. Uh, but it does vary from person to person. Game file to game file. Down to this hole in the southern field. Mysterious hole with the chest. There we go, now we got a, a hundred Neo points. As well, Neo points are the currency of this game. So basically, more Neo points you get, more money you have to spend thing, spend it on things. Now I just ran up to this ledge and I automatically grabbed on, I believe. Didn't jump up to it. If uh, if I'm wrong, I'm sorry. Uh, okay, let go of the corner there, and we just automatically grab onto this moss, and we just crawl up and out of the hole. There we go. That black loading screen is something you're gonna have to get used to when you're playing this game. It happens a lot. 
to much my annoyance, but anyway. Dad went inside the house, so let's go see him, shall we? Tor, I've got something for you to do. Something important. Ooh, really? I want you to deliver a package. Over to Farmer Addison's again? No, this one goes to Meridel. To Meridel? To the castle? I know you're excited, but there's a few things you need to know about before you go. The road to Meridel is a long one, son, and it's not safe. You'll need something to guard that package with. This is the key to the chest upstairs. In it is the sword I had when I was young. Listen, Tor, it is not a toy. It carries with it great responsibility. Do you understand what that means? It's like being a knight. You have to fight for the good and against injustice and evil. That's part of it for sure. But knights follow a code, a code of chivalry. They defend the weak, they don't lie, and always keep their word. They fight only for the right causes. Do you understand? Yes, sir. Then go, boy. This package won't deliver itself. I really wish I could have heard what he actually said, but I've watched this, I've like watched that cutscene so many times, I know what to expect. Anyway, we're inside Tomorrow's house, this is cool. And this is a book. There's tons of books around, like, Meridel and the lands around. And you can read the book by pressing the, like, thing next to it. Oh, this one talks about plants. I'll get to that later. But yeah, that these serve for, like, a little bit of a tutorial, sort of, if you get confused by some things. Anyway, there's something actually in this fireplace that I want to get. <sighs> hey, what's this? It's a little fiery ember. It's not burning me. In fact, I think it's smiling at me. I guess I'll keep it. Yeah, the, that is a moat, actually. And moats are little bits of magic that you can find in little areas around Meridel and the like. Uh, they can be used in... Well, something that will be explained later. <laughs> I'm saying that a lot, I know, I'm sorry. But I can, I'll explain them as things come along. I promise. Anyway, here's the chest. Open it. <gasps> it's a sword! Well, a wooden one. Press the O button to swing your sword. But be careful. Lots of things inside the house are fragile. Well, yeah, but that's the fun of it, right? That's Legend of Zelda for you. I mean Neopets. Woo! Yeah, you can go around pressing the O button. And you can even do a little combo move. Hold on, if I can stop facing the wall. One. One, two, three. Yeah, every time there's a flash on the sword, that's your cue to swing again. How long has that been open? Anyway, I never noticed that. Anyway, we can now go outside. Oh, better talk to Deb. Oh yeah, that's right. I'm such a silly Billy. The package is with him. Be careful with that wooden sword, son. It's not a toy. I know, I already got splinters already from it, Dad. Ah. Only use it to defend yourself or those in need, all right? Now, here's the package. Nice looking package. Mm -hmm. You'll need to take it to the Army Recruitment Center in Meridale Village. Got that? Yes, uh, Army whatever. Follow the star on the map. Right. Yeah, this is the quest menu. It's just one step ahead of the item inventory menu and from the map menu, which we can't actually see in here. Oops, I just activated the quick menu. Yeah, if you want a little bit more, like, challenge to this game, I would say, they actually have a quick menu feature where you can heal yourself using items on the top of the spoke. Is it spokes? I think it's spokes, that's the word. And you can heal magic with the bottom spoke. I'll get to this later. Closing menu. Tor's getting bored. Let's exit the house. I know you've always wanted to see Meridel, Tor. Have a good trip. 
keep a lookout for bandits. If you meet one, just give them what they want and get away. And then family just sends us off. And now this gate here is open and we can go out the gate. Woohoo! You can save your progress at the glowing save points. Now that you've done your chores, it would be a good time to save. I'm gonna say all the red text that way. It'd be so much fun. But yeah, here's the little save points. You can just square to save a game and there's multiple save files that you can actually do, which is good for me. Not like Pokemon, where you have to be very careful where you save because you can't make multiple save files. Anyway, I'm actually not going to end it off right now. I am going to continue on the path. But first, that looks suspicious ahead. I'm going to attach a moat. I'm in the quick menu for moats here, which is the down arrow key on the thing with the stuff in the thing. Anyway, and I'm going to equip this fire moat to my well, clothes which is armor for some reason, even though I'm wearing peasant clothes. Anyway, this will be helpful when going up against those guys, because, yeah, we're going up against those guys. Uh, the main point is, let's see, they have fire-aligned weapons, and I have fire-aligned clothes, so when they strike me with their attacks, it'll do less damage. Yeah, we have, like, a sort of a Pokemon system going on, if you hadn't noticed that, it'll get more in depth later. But yeah. Hello. What kind of Neopets are these guys? <laughs> Seriously, are you walkies? That green guy could be a walkie. That could be a, a skeeth without a tail. Um, uh, I, I, I give up. Hey, I was about you give us some. I apologize for my accents. Oh my gosh. Yeah, you've got to have something good. Right, what's in your begging bowl, I wonder? Get away, you thugs. I don't have anything. You think he's telling the truth, boys? <laughs> yeah, I know I'm thinking we better check him all through alike. Maybe he hid the money by swallowing it. <laughs> I'm not hearing any of this. Oh no, Tor's expressions. Oh, they're so horrible. Sorry. Bandits. Mum was serious about watching out for them. I hope I can scare them off if I put off enough of a fight. Yeah. To attack an opponent, press the O button. The more times you press, the more you attack. Different speeds may do different attacks. Get out of here! Don't make those funny faces. Ah, it's hitting me really hard. Oh gosh, they're ganging up. Get out of here. How you like that, son? You're thinking it's over, eh? Not by a long shot, bucko. Not by a long shot. Suspicious looking, and he walks away. Someone show those bandits a thing or two. Let's see, you deserve a little something for your effort. That's not necessary. A true knight knows when to accept an honest gift for your trouble here. Thank you, Mr. Teko. It may not look like much, but there's more to it than meets the eye. Remember never to take it off. It's a very special piece. One Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi... Okay, only two seconds. That's not bad of a pause. <sighs> My young friend, let me tell you something that may come in handy on your journey. Hmm. Have you noticed these magical moats before? Uh -uh. They appear in many places in our lands, some in the watery places, some on high rock perches, some on the very vapors of the air. Vapors with a U. Very special. Hmm. By equipping one to your sword, hmm. even a humble peasant's weapon becomes infused with a potent elemental power when you equip a moat. <laughs> Try it. Any hands over? A 
light moat, which is interesting. Not gonna help me out so much right here, right now, but it will later. To equip a moat, open your inventory by pressing the start button. Your inventory has three tabs. The first is for foods and potions. These are items that'll help restore your health or your magic. By pressing the R1 button or the L1 button, you can change the tabs of your inventory. Press the R button to open the middle tab. These are your moats. Select the moat with the directional buttons and a- wait, I'm not doing it right. Directional buttons! And equip it to your sword by pressing the O button. No, just O button. Because the O is already red. The last tab is for special items. Your package is in this inventory. Guard it well. Press the start button to open your inventory. No! And then we get attacked right away by this guy because he apparently didn't leave. Get out of here! Back off, you bandit. Ooh, a red jeppy. Oh man, I forgot to take advantage of that on Tor Star. For the thing of it. Tor Star. I need to stop talking. A red jeppy. These can be found growing all over the place. These red ones are very sweet and give a, give a bit of a pick me up. Yeah, if you're running low on health with the red bar up there, you've heal that up with a red jeppy. I'll use that on the. Actually, I'll just use the quick button, which is just triangle, and you heal yourself automatically so you don't have to go through the entire inventory. Anyway, this actually seems like a very good place to save. We can continue on what's going on in Farm Road. And we'll go into what makes this place a little special in the next episode. So, this is Laurel Devies. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you all next time. Bye! Tor, what are you doing?